Yo, what's going on everyone? We're back and here bringing another NBA 2K21 rebuild. And today's rebuild, we are going to be doing uh, New Orleans Pelicans. And it's going to be uh, Stan Van Gundy. Stan Van Gundy was just uh, newly signed as the New Orleans, Pe New Orleans Pelicans new head coach. And I feel like that's an okay signing, man. He did have uh, he did have winning records when he was with Orlando and Miami. But once he went to Detroit, he only had one winning season in like four or five years. And also... Stan Van Gundy did take the Orlando Magic to the NBA Finals, but they did lose to the Lakers at that time. That's when Dwight Howard was in his prime, man, and he had the best center in the NBA. But before we get into it, man, if you're new to the channel, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and let's hop into it. So, the New Orleans Pelicans is a really good team for Stan Van Gundy to go to. It's already, like, a good young squad that has a lot of talent on it. You had Brandon Ingram emerge last year. He averaged, like, what, 20, 18, 20 points? He averaged 23 points, yeah. 23 points, and then you had Zion Williamson who just came. And I feel like Alvin Gentry kind of didn't get his fair shot when he when uh, Zion was there because Zion Williams was hurt, and then he was on a minutes restriction, and then in the bubble he he kind of didn't really show out. Not Zion, but he had his chance in the bubble. Alvin Gentry to show what he had, and he didn't really. And then Drew Holiday, uh, there's rumors of him getting traded and stuff, and I'm probably going to trade him. Then you have JJ Redick, who should probably go. And Lonzo Ball is another young piece along with Jackson Hayes. So the one good thing about this team, though, is that everyone mostly on this team besides Ingram is on a rookie contract. And Drew Holiday, of course. But Ingram is going to have to get paid in the offseason. And that's the other reason why I say except Ingram. We are going to move on from Holiday. So let's just hop into it, man. And let's get this team younger, man. I did like the Drew Holiday and, um, and uh, Lonzo Ball backcourt. But if we can get younger... And hopefully do better. It would help us out tremendously. Because this team is on the merge. But they are young like I said man. Yeah, like a Karis LeVert would be a perfect fit I think. I think like I said. He is a good defender as well. If we look at his attributes. Um, he has A-3. B playmaking. B perimeter. So he is a good defender. He does fit the young mold age. He is 26. You could get a, you could get Zach Levine. But I do be getting Zach Levine a lot. And I feel like getting Zach Levine is just entirely too many times for this video so i think i'm going to go with karis LeVert. and karis LeVert would be a good fit along with this team and the nets do get drew holiday who helps them win now with you have kevin durant kyrie and drew holiday so right now this team is not looking too bad like i said we do have a young team we and we do have a lot of cast space coming up if you go look at the uh if you go look at uh our cast space where yeah contract no salary cap table Next year, we should have 78 million cast space. That means we can go out and get pretty much whoever we want, man. We are going to have Karis LeVert. I did not know Torian Prince had that big contract. So I do want to see what we can get for maybe JJ Redick. He probably wants to get out of here along with Torian Prince. I know someone will take a shooter. but it, And we also have Etuan Moore's back contract, but that does expire after this year. So if we can get on, move on from Etuan Moore and just get something for him. It'll be cool, man. But let me know down in the comment section if y'all enjoying these rebuilds, man. I really do like making these rebuilds for y'all. And it lets me know that y'all keep, uh, when y'all keep watching them, it lets me know I'm not boring y'all out. I'm, I tend, I'm trying not to bore y'all out, man. I really try not to. So let's just go with, I mean, there's not really much here. Let's just go with, does Ian Mahimi have an option after this year? He doesn't. So we'll just go with, I don't want to give a first round pick though. Does Evan Turner have an option? No. So we'll just go with this trade right here, Hernan Gomez and uh, Evan Turner. So for season number one, it's kind of, we're just going to see how this team does and progresses. It's not try to win now or anything. So it's going to be Lonzo Ball, Karis LeVert, Brian Ingram, Zion, and Derek Favors along with Jackson Hayes. I'd rather have Jackson Hayes starting than Derek Favors. So we'll, we'll give Jackson Hayes 31 minutes. And it's Derek Favors, Nico Melli, Josh Hart, and Jaleel Okafor off the bench. So let's simulate this season, man, and see how we do. We made it into the first season, and I honestly forgot to show you all that Stan Van Gundy, because Stan Van Gundy's not in the game. So I had to just hire a new head coach and edit him and give him Stan Van Gundy's name. I forgot to show you all that, but I'll show you all that here in a second. Luka got MVP. Uh, we did go 59-23 though in the first season. That's really good, man. And Stan Van Gundy did get coach of the year. He is an 89 overall. Our team is an 89 overall, man. That's really good. So if we go and uh, look, see if anyone made the All-NBA teams. I don't think so. But for having that good of a team, man, someone should have, and we didn't. Any defensive players. And Drew Holiday for the Brooklyn Nets, man. That's good for him. And we did get the second seed. And I do want to show you all the coaching. Um, if we go to uh, system efficiency, he's just B plus offense, B plus defense, B potential. So it wasn't like I just gave him all A pluses and stuff. 
But we did have to just put the name of Stan Van Gundy. There was no pictures or anything of Stan Van Gundy. So that's what we went with. And we are taking on the Nuggets in the first round, man. So let's make the round. I just keep forgetting that I'm on this side. So let me move my camera real quick. And we're just gonna simulate the round and it looks like we are down 1-0 already. 1-1, I didn't even look at the player stats. We'll go look at the player stats after this if we get past them. And it's 2-2, Denver surely really, should, really shouldn't be a 7 seed, but we do get past Denver, man. That's very good for us. And if we look at the stats real quick, um, Jamal Murray dropped 41, but Zion had 40, man. Karis Bird had 39, five and six. Uh, if they can somehow do a, uh, if they could somehow do a trade with involving Drew Holiday for Karis Avert, I feel like that'd be a really good trade for the Pelicans as he fits the mold of their young players. He fits, pretty much fits the whole Pelicans, a good defender, good playmaker. So Zion did lead us in scoring with 27 points, seven rebounds, two assists. Then it was Brandon Ingram with 26, five and four. And then Karis Avert had 22, three and five. And I feel like Karis Avert was on the merge of exploding. He did have, um, he did have some good uh, games in the bubbles and then he had a, he had a fairly good series against the uh, Raptors in the playoffs and for us he did average he's averaging 24 and a half in the playoffs he did average 18 last year for Brooklyn though and maybe he gets that little extra spur where he shoots a better percentage from the field and free throw line with Steve Van Gunn. he needs to get his free throw percentage up but he's working on it man he's working on it so we are taking on the Minnesota Timberwolves in the second round who do have Cat and James Russell but other than that it looks like we are about to go to the we are heading to um, the next round. We are in the conference finals. We did beat the Minnesota Trimbles in five games, man. So Zion is out here balling and Karis LeVert, man. I'm telling you, man. Go get yourself Karis LeVert, man. If you're watching this video, Pelicans, Stan Van Gunny, whoever, go get Karis LeVert, man. Go get Karis LeVert as it is 2-2, 3-2 us. And we were just one game away from the NBA Finals, man. Literally one game away from that NBA Finals, man. And this whole team is really nice, man. If we can literally go out and get one more... If we can literally go out and get one more piece, man, I feel like this team is already set for the playoffs. Like, we have Lonzo, who's our defensive playmaker. He can score a little bit. He can average about 11 points a game. That's Kawhi Leonard and Asia Finals MVP. We do have Karis LeVert now, who can play, make, and score. You got Brandon Ingram, who's going to be a scorer. You have Jackson Hayes, who's a good defender. We kind of need that power forward. Um, we kind of need that power forward if we want to go in a different direction, you know, like... If we want to move Zion and Ingram up and just move everybody down one or maybe get a better center, who knows? I was thinking of like, you know, have Lonzo, Brandon Ingram, Zion, and then put a power forward there and then Jackson Hayes, maybe when you want to go small ball, but they probably wouldn't do that because they have Karis Bird. I don't know. But let's see, man. We have pick, what pick do we have? Let's send to our pick and see if anyone falls. We have pick 29, so it's not that big of a pick. And did anyone fall to us? That'd be cool though. And and no one I know fell to us in this draft. So let's just go with the highest scouted player that we scouted in this shooting guard. What is his overall? 66? No, thank you. Um, it says this dude's a B minus, and so it's a small forward. We'll just go with the what do we need? I was talking about power forward, so we'll just go with power forward, man. So we get the power forward, and now all we need to do literally is see what his overall is. He's a 72, three level score. They got all these other guys that I don't really want. Um, team player options, Zion, yes, Jackson Hayes, yes, and Walker, yes. I should've sent Walker to the G League. I, I didn't, I forgot about Walker, to be honest. Qualifying offers, we are gonna bring back Josh Hart, and then definitely Lonzo and Ingram. I forgot we gotta bring Lonzo back. Maybe we can go out and sign a free agent. Maybe we can, their cap hits aren't too big. So, I do wanna sign a free agent, but I'm tired of signing like the same free agents, kinda, so. Could go for Rudy Gobert. Um, we do have to offer Ingram for he actually matches the contract. We could go for, I'm trying to see, you know, it's like someone that actually fits small, like a John Collins, I feel like John Collins. Um, we need a center, man. Let's go with Rudy Gobert. Let's offer Rudy Gobert this contract. And we will have about 40 million left in cap space when I offer Rudy Gobert this contract. That should be good, man. And we are first. And so I am going to offer Ingram just so that I don't have to match anything. Because technically, we should have enough to get both, but I just don't want to lose out on them. So let's just do that. And we do get... I don't want to re-announce the rights on Lonzo Ball yet. That's the problem. Josh Hart, yes. Nico Melli, yes. Jaleel Okafor, Darius Miller. Um, I don't want to re-announce them, man. Am I going to have to? I really don't want to, man. That's the problem. If I literally lose out on Lonzo that's pretty bad so I guess we're not going to get Rudy Gobert 
Unless I can do that. Yeah, let's try that and see if that works. So we just gotta keep offering Ingram and see if that works, man. So without having to give up Lonzo, we'll just offer Ingram, like I said. So let's just keep doing this real quick. It shouldn't take that long, man. And then we'll get Rudy Gobert and then we'll be good, man. We'll be good to match any offer he gets. We just gotta do it one more time. And that's pretty much it. So I'm just gonna offer him like the max of a max. So he just accepts it. And that's what we can offer him. And he does accept it, so re-announce these. And we got Rudy Gobert, man. So this team is a lot better now. He gets his dominant center that he's always needed. So now we can just match whatever Brandon Ingram got and we do match it. And next is Alonzo Ball. We're gonna bring Alonzo Ball back. And so getting Rudy Gobert, it really does help this team. You get, he, Jackson Hayes can learn behind Rudy Gobert and then he does get, Stan McKinney does get a center that he is always used to getting. He's always had a defensive center when he's played, man, when he's coached. He had Dwight Howard in Orlando. He had um, he had Shaq for a couple years in uh, Miami. And he also even had like, he had some other good centers, man. I know Marcin Gortat wasn't a defensive center, but he was still a very good backup center to Dwight. And even with Dwight wanting out, he still had um, Gortat to replace him and Vucevic was there in the trade. But let's go and look at, um, let's look at training camps. Cause I feel like we were just one piece away from that finals and getting Rudy Gobert was that one piece that's gonna help us. Do y'all think Rudy Gobert is a top five center in the NBA? Cause there's not really that many good centers, but let me know down in the comment section what y'all's take is on Rudy Gobert. I feel like Rudy Gobert is probably, if he's not five, he's like, right there he's like seven at least he's at least a top seven center i do think rudy gobert is a top seven center at least i don't think he's top five but you don't really know man there's so many centers he could be top five there's just i don't know because you, you got bam out of bio yoga and bead and then do you put rudy gobert there or do you put like someone else there i don't know man but right now this lineup isn't looking bad at all didn't we sign lonzo ball didn't it say we signed Lonzo Ball, man? I swear it said we signed Lonzo Ball back. Um, yeah, man, I'm gonna go get Lonzo Ball back because I swear it said we signed him and I'll be back in this video. Back and I did get Lonzo Ball back. I swear we signed him, man. I'm gonna rewatch this video and I know I signed him. But we do get Lonzo Ball, Kara Savert, Brandon Ingram, Zion, and Rudy Gobert for this starting five. Then you got Jackson Hayes off the bench. He's already a 79 overall, and he's only, what, 20 years old now? He's 21. Then you got Nikhil Alexander-Walker, and we do need a better bench. We kind of get a better, two better bench players, and then we should be set. So we do need a backup point guard. I'm not really sold on Rondo. So if we move Garrett Temple, Corey Brewer, and our 2022nd Lakers first round pick that we did get with trading Anthony Davis away, what could we get? We just kind of need, like, um, that will be a good backup point guard for us. Can we get anyone else? Aaron Holiday. We get Aaron Holiday a lot. But Aaron Holiday does fit the mold. So we'll just go with Aaron Holiday. We get Aaron Holiday for the backup point guard. And then we still just need one more player. Like Evan Turner is not getting any minutes, man. So if we can get like a backup small forward, that'd be cool, man. Is there one in free agency? Gary Trent Jr. always wants so much money, man. And we can't actually afford him. So what about small forwards? Frank Korkmaz or Gary Trent? We'll go with Gary Trent. So we do get Gary Trent Jr. who is, I don't know why teams never sign him. He's a great shooter. I wouldn't say great, i say a good shooter. He goes up to 81 at back of small forward, so that's good for us. And so now it's Lonzo Ball, Karis LeVert, Brandon Ingram, Zion Williamson, Rudy Gobert, Gary Trent Jr., Jackson Hayes, Aaron Holiday, and none other than Nikhil Alexander-Walker. So we made it to the, the second season, and we did go 63-19, and 19, man, with Stan Van Gundy. That's all I'm saying, man. If they can get Stan Van Gundy and get a dominant center like Rudy Gobert, I do like Jackson Hayes. I just don't feel like he's quite ready yet. And Zion Williamson did make all NBA first team. If you can get like Rudy Gobert for this team, man, it would honestly go a long way to help them in the process. Because once Rudy Gobert's contract is up, we did get the first heat though, but let's go look at the stats. Like once Rudy Gobert's contract is up, it's not like Jackson Hayes is going to be 30 years old, man. Like Rudy Gobert, by the time his contract's up, he did get four years, which was a player option. So it's really three years, which will probably accept. So Rudy Gobert, will probably, he'll be... 33 years old, while wow, yet yeah. uh, Jackson Hayes will just be hitting his prime. He'll be 25 years old. So I feel like that would be a good move for them. And while looking at the stats, Zion had 34 points a game, 11 rebounds, 
and one steal a game, while Brandon Ingram had 25, Karis LeVert had 17, Gobert at 10 and 12 in a block and a half. This wasn't bad, man. This team wasn't bad. Maybe Stan Van Gundy is the right hiring for this team. Maybe they should go out and get Karis LeVert also, but maybe they'll have to give up more than just Drew Holiday for Karis LeVert. Karis LeVert is a good up and coming player, but it all depends on what they actually want, what to do. If I'm pretty sure uh, Stan Van Gundy does love the idea of um, Lonzo and Ball, uh, Lonzo and Holiday still playing together, but there has been rumors of them trading Lonzo Ball. But I don't think Stan Van Gundy really has the option because in Detroit he was like the president or something where he can make whatever moves he wanted. But over here in uh, New Orleans, he's just the head coach. Dave, Dave Griffin is still making those um, those choices. So let me know down in the comment section what y'all think was, do y'all think Drew Holiday will get traded? Drew Holiday will stay as Drew Holiday does go on to win a championship with the Brooklyn Nets. Was he in Brooklyn? Do they keep him? Nah, they traded him. Damn, is that Danny or Draymond? Dan, Danny got another ring, but they ended up trading him for Oladipo, I guess. So they did not want to keep Drew Holiday. But let me know down in the comment section if y'all think Drew Holiday uh, will get traded or stay in uh, New Orleans. I think he'll get traded. And if you're new to the channel, guys, leave a like, subscribe for new. Let me know what y'all think about this rebuild. And I'll catch y'all guys next time. Peace.